While much of California is dropping coronavirus restrictions, a group of frontline workers being left behind in the reopening, inmate firefighters are still being denied visitations, and family members are pleading for prisons to change those restrictions. The incarcerated workers put their lives on the line in hopes of reducing their sentences, and this year's fire season forecast is severe. Our investigative partners at iNewsource are looking into this situation, and joining me now to talk more about it is investigative reporter Mary Plummer. Good morning to you, Mary. Good morning. So tell us a little bit, why are prisons keeping uh, these folks from seeing their family members? You know, it's interesting. There has been a lot of confusion and challenges for families across the state during the pandemic who are trying to see incarcerated relatives in California state prisons. Uh, and my colleague, Jill Castellano, found that the rules appear to be the most restrictive, actually, for inmate firefighters. Uh, prisons up and down the state began allowing for in-person visits over the last couple of months, but these inmate firefighters weren't allowed those visits at the fire camps where they live and reside. Uh, this is a very unique program. Uh, the inmates work for two to $5 a day in California. They earn an extra $1 a day if they're uh, working on an active fire. They play a really key role in helping with some of the state's major wildfires. But right now, they're only allowed to have weekly video calls with family members. Uh, the corrections department says it is in the final stages of developing a plan to resume visits at fire camps, uh, but they have not given us a timeline, uh, Eric, for when that would restart. So how does this impact the, uh, the, the, the family members? I mean, obviously, they can do the video calls, but, y you know, that's just not the same. Right. Uh, we've spoken with family members who tell us that this is really leaving them worried and stressed. Firefighting, of course, is challenging. It is dangerous work. Uh, so the family's worries are quite significant. Uh, one family member told us she didn't understand why the same precautions used in other settings wouldn't be adequate here. And on top of that, advocates have long said that maintaining family relationships is key for incarcerated people who will re-enter the community once they've served their time. You know, for those who are not serving life sentences, uh, they will be seeking to re-enter the workforce, and those family connections are, are really key. The job of an inmate firefighter, you know, that's going to be even harder this year. I mean, how much worse is that job expected to be? I mean, we're very dry, high fire danger right now. The, the outlook is not great. Right now, when it comes to inmate firefighters, the state is actually short-staffed. The numbers are down by about half. Uh, that is partially due to early prison releases during the pandemic. And then on the fire risk side, as you mentioned, the number of fires this year is already far outpacing last year, which was in itself a record-breaking year. Uh, Cal Fire has already responded to more than 3,500 burns so far. And the state forecast is to have about uh, a above normal fire risk uh, through September. Yeah, we all got to be careful. That's for sure out there. Mary Plummer, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for your reporting. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Eric. Have a great rest of your morning.